It's just I've pain in my breast and uh... it's it's you it just can't stop harming people. It's uh... Let's say that again. They can't stop harming me. They cannot stop harming people because they're removing my breast. Because they don't want me to become a woman, so I have very little breath, but they remove it. <laughs> I just have the right to, to be nothing, nobody. Even not a, a young woman, I'm just, just really nothing. Okay, when you say they remove them, are you in another surgery? Yeah. I'm in another surgery. It's very dark. I don't. <coughs> I mean, I don't see anything. <laughs> okay, then here. You can still hear. There's a party that can still hear and record what's going on here. Sorry, I'm just crying. It's so intense. Okay. <laughs> I just feel very little. It's so small. <laughs> I just would like to disappear again. <laughs> Do the best you can to connect to your body and, and hear what they're saying and doing. going to remove your little eggs so you, <laughs> so you cannot be a woman. <laughs> and we are going to destroy you. And we have so, such a pleasure to do it. Because <laughs> this is the only thing you deserve to be destroyed. will destroy you until the very end. <laughs> okay, what part of your body are you, are you experiencing this in? <laughs> oh, they're removing my breast. <laughs> they're cutting my breast. <laughs> okay, can you feel them doing that? Do you feel you're under anesthesia or no? No anesthesia, no. No, I missed it. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, the surgeon is raping me in the same me. I have to remove my breath. <laughs> he just raped me. He's raping me at the moment. <laughs> Even more worse than <laughs> can't stand it anymore. <laughs> it's like there is there is no space on the roast, there is no space in my body where I can feel safe. <laughs> because they just hurt me everywhere in my body. <laughs> They're just doing experiment in in my body. They're playing with me. <laughs> and they say she's done for today. She's cooked. <laughs> so leave 
leave her alone now. She's what? She's cooked. Cooked. Yeah, she's cooked. Cook, as in cooked, as in C O O K E D, cooked? Yeah. Bring me to a small room where I'm just alone and bleeding and shaking because I'm freezing and I just get cry. I'm just crying. Just can't believe that all these things are happening. I just. Uh, <laughs> They're going to call me the game. They're going to bring me in, the, in this terrible room where they do experiments. I'm really, I'm really scared. I'm really scared. So scared. <laughs> there is no one place of safety. No safety anywhere. <laughs> Even in my mind, I'm not safe anymore because I just don't know what to think about me, myself, my body, this situation, the people, the Nazis, my people. You know, I, I cannot talk to anybody about what I'm undergoing because they're completely scared and they don't want to hear about that. And I'm so lonely. Uh, I feel <laughs> completely abandoned, uh, rejected. <laughs> I feel being nothing. <laughs> it's uh, the most, the most, oh, sorry. <laughs> The, the, the most terrible thing is not not to be able to defend myself. The most terrible, the most terrible thing is uh, not being able to kill myself. Just is not being able to kill myself. Yeah, <laughs> because I cannot end this. I, it's just. Does it feel like they won't let you kill yourself? Like it's possible? Like there's no, no way? No, there's no way I can kill myself here. There's no way. I mean, I didn't find it. <laughs> and I just realized that the day they will kill me, it uh, will be the, more, the best thing they will do to me. I'm just longing for this. So much. I just want them to finish with me. I just don't want to live anymore. I'm just exhausted. <laughs> and it's so painful, but I can feel this pain in my heart, in my soul. It's painful everywhere. My body is very painful. <laughs> Everything is painful on every level. It's just uh, <laughs> I have the feeling of being a big ball of pain, <laughs> just feeling pain all the time and sadness and, uh, and complete mm -hmm. despair. <laughs> um, It's really like feeling being in, an insect on the floor. And if somebody's going to walk on me and uh, kill me, it's the same thing. Uh, 
I remember I had this feeling with my father when I was a teenager in his lifetime. There was such a despair. I didn't know where it came from. I mean, I, I wasn't aware it was coming from this past life, but now I can understand that. But the same feeling, being nothing, being like an insect, and being worthless. No right to live, no right to be myself, no right to be a woman. I started to have uh, my breast starting to grow when I was 17, and I had my periods when I was 26. So. Say that again. My breast started to grow at 17, and yeah. what? Yeah. And my had... period, my periods, my menses. I had them at once. I was 27, 26, 26. Did you didn't have your first period until you were 26? I had my first period until I was tw um, 17, but then I had maybe them when I was 19, and maybe twice when I was 21, and then nothing until 26. So, I had my period when I married my husband when I met him, but before, maybe three or four times, not more. But there was something that in me that didn't want to be a woman. It was like being in danger 